Sam and Chuck have been extremely busy at work for the past few weeks, and it's time for a break. The boys have planned a fun getaway to Montego Bay and are gearing up to head out. But before they can have all the fun, Chuck has carefully prepared a budget for the trip and wants to lay down the law with Sam. Dude, I'm so excited about our trip to Jamaica. Me too. I'm glad you talked me into going. It was about time I tapped into my targeted savings account to get away. Targeted savings account? I need something like that for my next trip. How did you set up one of those accounts? Well, it's pretty simple. I figured out how much money I needed for the whole trip, set up an online savings account, one that had a higher interest rate than a traditional savings account, mm. and I deposited money into the account every month until I reached my goal. Nice. I can always count on you to plan ahead. Oh, yeah. But you aren't the only one. I got us the best package deal after visiting a bunch of travel sites to compare airfares and hotel prices. Now I can splurge on food and souvenirs in Jamaica, man. Well, I... I I think you just missed the whole point on budgeting and saving your money. Chuck, you only live once. You can't take all that money with you to the grave. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we should go on a spending spree while we're out of the country. In fact, I just downloaded the Share-A-Bill iPhone app to my phone. The what? What's Share-A-Bill? It's an app that'll help us track who spends what. It even features several different currencies and their exchange rates, so there's no arguing about money. Hmm, so you won't be paying for my surfing lessons this time around. And I won't be paying for all the drinks you ordered. For everyone. Hmm, guess not. And as a safety precaution, I signed us up for the U.S. Department of State's free smart traveler enrollment program, in case any of us loses our passport or ID. Nice. The program allows you to store your passport number and other details in its online database. It makes it easier to get emergency assistance from the U.S. Embassy or consulate if there's any problems. Good thinking. I can't wait to get to Jamaica, man. The next morning, Sam and Chuck hop on a plane to Jamaica. After landing and getting settled in, the boys head to the beach. Ah, so glad to be here. The warm sun, and look at those waves! Yes, this is the life. So what should we do tonight? Hit up a bar, or a restaurant, or maybe a club? How about all three? Whoa, Sam, let's just take it easy for the first night. What? There are a few things we need to get out of the way before we just take off. Oh, boy, you're such a buzzkill. But the first thing we need to do is look for a place to exchange our money. It was really expensive at the airport, so we should go into town and find an ATM to get the most reasonable rate on the exchange. Good thinking. And then after that, let's head over to a restaurant. Now, I don't mind going to a restaurant tonight, but we shouldn't waste our money on every meal of the day while we're here. Let's stop by a local market and pick up a few snacks and drinks. It'll save us a few dollars instead of going to a restaurant three times a day. Okay, Chuck. But you also need to remember it's not always about the money. That's the true. experiences are what make the trip. I don't think we need to try to spend as little as possible. Mm -hmm. The last thing we want is to leave here wishing we did something or went somewhere, but blew it off because of a budget. Oh, you're right. So is there anything else you want to get off your chest before this vacation really heats up? Yes. Don't keep all of your cards and cash together in case someone tries to pickpocket you. I even carry what I like to call my fake wallet with expired bank and credit cards in case I get robbed or pickpocketed. And be sure you have the photocopy of your passport with you. Done? Mm, for now. I'll let you know if I think of anything else later. <laughs> okay, Chuck. Now let's go have some fun. You got your fake wallet? Yes. I'll get you a fake drink. For more information on cutting your costs while planning a trip, check out the personal finance section on cnnmoney.com.